What's up, Odooers? Today I'm going to show you how Odoo's barcode app records product quantities when scanning barcodes on product packaging. But first, I want to clarify the difference between packaging and packages. In Odoo, packaging refers to the disposable containers holding multiple units of a specific product. For example, at my favorite bakery, they sell cookies in two types of packaging. Individual cookies in small plastic bags and cookies by the dozen, which come in a box. You might also be familiar with packages. In Odoo, a package refers to a way products can be grouped together in bulk, whether it's for an order or storage purposes. Think of pallets, boxes, bins, stuff like that. For more information, check out our documentation on packages. But for now, we're going to stick to the concept of packaging. Let's take a closer look at how Odoo's inventory and sales app seamlessly handle product packaging when it's scanned in the Odoo barcode app. Starting off, there are two settings that need to be enabled in order to use barcodes on product packaging. So we're going to head to the inventory application, click on configuration, followed by settings. First things first, we want to make sure that our barcode scanner setting is active and ticked, which it looks like it already is, so perfect. Next, I need to ensure product packaging is enabled, so we're going to select sales on our left sidebar here and confirm that product packaging is already ticked too. As this implies, the barcode app is integrated seamlessly with sales and inventory apps. All right, so our settings are now good to go to scan barcodes on product packaging. So at Stealthy Wood, we buy a lot of paint to coat our furniture. There are different packaging options for purchasing paint, so I'll show you how we configure those now. We're going to go to products here at the top and select products once again, and we're going to select our premium orange paint product. Now that we're on the product form, I'm going to head to the inventory tab and scroll down to our packaging section. Here you can see that we already have two configured packaging types for our orange paint. We have a single can as well as a four pack. Recently, our supplier informed me that we can start purchasing eight packs. Sounds way easier than going to the gym. So I'm gonna add that now by clicking add a line and just typing in eight pack. And as you can see, there is a column for package type. This needs to be configured separately by going to configuration and then selecting package types. So our warehouse receives and stores paint on pallets. So I'm gonna to go to my new APAC line and I'm gonna click into this blank field here under package types and select pallet. And since this is an APAC, I'm going to input eight in the contained quantity column. And this lets us know the specific unit count of the product inside this packaging. And you'll also notice we have a barcode field. And this is where we can input the barcode that we want to be scanned for, the 8-pack. And I've already had a randomly generated barcode, so I'm just going to paste it in here. Great. Now that we have all three types of packages ready to go from our supplier, I'm going to save this now. Packaging types are reflected automatically on sales and purchase orders, as well as inventory transfers when a product is selected. So let's see this in action by creating a purchase order for our premium orange paint. So we're going to open our purchase app and then click new to create a new RFQ. We're going to select our vendor paint unlimited. Then I'll head to the products tab where we'll add our premium orange paint. And since I would prefer to buy the paint in bulk, I'm going to jump to our packaging column and select our new 8-pack. Odoo is going to give us a warning that the 8-pack comes with 8 units, so we should try to match the number in the quantity column. So let me close out of this and follow the advice. I'm going to change the quantity here to 8. And pro tip, you can also order multiples by changing the value for this column. For example, if I input the quantity of 16, you'll notice that the packaging quantity updates to 2 automatically, since Odoo knows that two 8-packs would be a total of 16 units for this product. But we don't really need 16 units right now, so we're going to go back, override this, and change it back to 8. And if you want to learn more about configuring packaging in Odoo, check out our tutorial links below. But this looks great. We have what we need on this RFQ, so I'm just going to scroll back up and click Confirm Order, which turns this RFQ to a purchase order. The PO looks as expected with a quantity of eight orange paint cans. Great. Now we'll wait for our shipment to arrive. Wow. That was fast. Paint Unlimited has already delivered our APAC. 
My personal trainer is lucky that my 8-pack hasn't arrived that fast. Either way, I've picked it up from our delivery truck, so now it's time to begin scanning the packaging and stock these bad boys on our shelf. So I'm going to open up our barcode app, and here I can access our warehouse receipts one of three ways. The first one is by simply scanning the barcode on the printed receipt. Second is by manually typing in the receipt number by clicking into this barcode image here and entering it. And finally, we can also click operations right here and click on receipts and then choose the receipt we need, which will be our operation 19. And voila, Odoo already knows there are eight cans in our box here. Remember how I inputted the barcode number on the product form? Well, that same barcode will be used for all eight packs. So now I can just scan the barcode on the packaging and voila. Odoo automatically updates the received quantity since it knows there are eight cans inside this packaging. To finish recording this receipt, all I have to do is click on validate. And just as expected, Odoo tells us that our transfer has been initiated. You just saw how seamless it is to scan packaging in Odoo no matter how many products you're handling. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you next time.